So I might have got something pretty cool here with this brush axe. I'm going to do a real quick clean up just to see what the stamp says. And then uh, we'll talk about it in my usual spot. Okay, so uh, I did clean up this brush axe and it did not tell me anything uh, that I wanted to see. I have no idea what it says. I thought it was, might be a legitimus, but uh, nope, doesn't look like it is. It's really cool though. It's got a beautiful handle on it that was definitely made by a user. And look how fat this uh, swell gets and how abrupt it uh, abrupt the uh, what's it called the swoop I guess you would say the this little swoop little swoopers it's very straight until it gets to the very end it's nice it feels pretty good I'd like to copy this handle one day so I bought it mostly for the handle and then I realized it might have a stamp um, so today I think this, I got a little red oak, and I figured why not test out the two, two of my favorite cross-cutting axes. Well, I don't quite know if this is going to be one of my favorite cross-cutting axes yet, but I have, a, I have a thought that it might compete with the American axe. And I also, just for good measure, I brought out a craftsman, a high-test craftsman. This is a beautiful axe, not a good handle. I still haven't finished shaping it it's got nice thinness to it but the uh, palm swell is not great so I guess we'll tip this uh, iceberg over you know what they say about uh, icebergs 90% of the people that complain about things that are stupid are under the water I have no idea what that means sometimes you try to be funny and people get angry <laughs> I wasn't funny enough I'm sorry <laughs> Speaking of people that complain, um, I had a I had a uh, comment. This guy said, "Who taught you how to split?" My God, is that how you speak to people? <laughs> even if even if I'm an idiot, I mean, what if my teacher is some guy that died and I highly respect him or something? Yeah. So this is uh, this looks like this tree was pretty dead. And uh, it's got a lot of knots, so let's find let's find a way to make it so we're not chopping into them. Whoa! I do have an angle gauge, by the way. I wanted to wanted to see how keen these axes are. I'm starting to think they're not too keen. And you know, you can't really compare axes without having that information. It's just stupid. It's just not smart to uh, think you know what's best about an axe if uh, you don't have all the data on it. So let's do some uh, some uh, bucking. What do you guys say? First, we start with the old OG. Wow, I'm out of practice here. Man, I feel like I feel like a complete amateur. I'll tell you though, this is not easy. <laughs> so I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to do any serious work because I want to split this. But man, that was not that was not promising. Let me tell you, I think it's red oak. It has the look of white oak, but that might just be because it's been cut down for a while. Okay, so now let's try the double oval. Slightly stickier. I'm not quite sure if it's... Yeah, it is doing a better job. Now, this is the banana grind. Um, but, like I said, we don't know the angle. Definitely red oak now that I'm opening it up. Oh, yeah. So, I did want to talk about a few things. You might have seen my last video. <laughs> I thought it'd be really funny to just split with that with while wearing a snowboard and not even acknowledging it. 
and uh, made me laugh. And you know what they say, if it makes you laugh, th then hopefully that's your sense of humor. And you should share with the world. And that's what I did. I said, here's, here's me, just a girl. Uh, just a girl give, uh, wearing a pretty dress. You guys can look if you want. I like this. I like this axe. I know this is a, a narrow notch. Like I said, we're not really bucking right now. We're just testing. Okay. I'll, I'll go back to the American axe now that it's opened up and the wood isn't so punky. But uh, first, let's go with the Tasmanian pattern. Whoa. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Okay, so that's where the knot is, right there. We're running into some issues here. Let's switch to the American Axe before we can't do any more work. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was fun. <laughs> Did you guys think it was fun? <laughs> it is funny that I got more complaints about sandals than the snowboard. <laughs> so this really does not stick at all. And that's what I noticed when I was bucking silver maple. It might be the edge angle. So let's see. I have a little gauge here. Uh, let's start with 25. I don't think I can count. So, wow. Guys, 27 and a half. This is a thick edge. I pretty much left it like that because I wanted to split with it. But after seeing how good it is at bucking, maybe I should change that. This one's going to be thinner, I think. The high test. Start with 25, 22. So it looks like the heel is like 22 and a half and the toe is closer to 25 maybe. And uh, finally we'll do the double oval. What do you guys think? Before I, what are you guys thinking? What's the edge angle? 25? Let us see. So this is convex. Beautiful. So, uh, wow. So this is between, I think it's between 25 and uh, 22 and a half. So yeah, I guess that makes a lot of sense. The high test did well. It has the keenest angle. And the American X did the worst, and it has the most obtuse angle. Just so obtuse, these guys. Anyway, <laughs> I did forget to show you guys some uh, one more goodie I just got at the flea market. Wow, this is one of my coolest uh, stamps, I'd say. My pal identified this for me. He's like, Y and B. And, I, and then it all made sense. I don't know if you you guys are like me, but it's like reading a different language when I haven't seen a stamp before. I don't know. I, I just can't read letters, I think. I think I'm illiterate when there's rust on, on a letter. <laughs> so this is a nice big stamp, isn't it? So it's a little half hatchet. It's nothing like crazy, but that looks like it'll be easy to uh, pop out the nails and get out. Actually, there's a lot of step wedges in there. But yeah, beauty. A little mushrooming on the pole, on the hammer pole. So maybe this is soft. I don't know. Nice little handle though. I'll have to copy this. Make a new one. Isn't that a cool stamp though, guys? Oh, let me do it. They're correct. Is this right? Yeah. So that's cool, isn't it? Pretty neat. Do you know any old people that say the words neat? Pretty neat. Young people say neato. 
That actually means you're young if you say Nita. Okay. So, uh, I'm not going to split this whole round because it's, it's just a mess. This, this round is a mess. It's got knots everywhere. It's kind of punky. And these aren't the little knots. You know, sometimes I say it's got a big knot and really it's a medium to small knot in comparison to a big limb or multiple limbs like this has. Oh, I just saw a little cut in my handle. So, uh, let's see if we can do anything with this. Oh boy. <laughs> That's the thing about big goofy rounds is they're kind of awkward to move. I'm always breaking something. This is tall. That's like 20, 20 couple inches. All right, let's move you. Let's move you, camera. Uh oh, am I not recording? Oh, the temperature. It's a temperature warning. Huh. We'll, we'll push through, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we'll push through that. Um, I know the double oval is going to struggle. It, it already struggled right there. Let's go with the high test. Uh, it's not going to split in half, but just to show you guys. I'll work with the crack. <laughs> it's like I'm not even doing anything. That that split, but it wasn't where I wanted to split. It split on the side. All right. Uh, we'll try to slab a piece off with the uh, the double oval craftsman. No, that's not happening. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do this off camera so I don't look like an idiot. But uh, if you guys have ever split oaks with big, uh, with big knots and, and numerous knots, you know, it's a brutal, brutal time. This is where that angle pays off. See, it's not really sticking at all. All right, that's it for me. Just wanted to show you guys some cool new stuff and make sure my camera doesn't overheat and explode. Thanks for watching.